yeah, the connection of parkour and Feldenkrais is something that I find really, really interesting because I think they complement each other very, very well. And they have, at the, at the core, I feel like they have a similar curiosity. Um, so in, when I was in Feldenkrais, you um, explore um, your own movement and your habits and your patterns. Um, and in parkour, you explore how you can move through the environment and what kind of possibilities there are. Um, and where parkour gives you this sense of the environment and of the outside world, Feldenkrais can very much like complement parkour there to bring you back in, um, to give you more of a sense of your own body and your, also your, your embodiment, like your embodied existence, which you don't have so much in parkour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. John? Yeah, I agree uh, with what, what Paul said um, wholeheartedly. Uh, I was thinking uh, in one way you could kind of a metaphor in, in Chinese martial arts, they have the, the external martial arts and internal martial arts. And uh, I was thinking par uh, one, one way of kind of looking at this, uh, you'd be saying parkour could be uh, an external embodiment or external embodied practice and Feldenkrais could be more oriented to an internal practice. Although, having said that, if you read Feldenkrais's uh, uh, writings, he was also very interested in, in our connection to the outside world. So it's, it's that metaphor breaks down a little bit because it's not pure, Feldenkrais, at least to my understanding, my practice is not uh, purely an internal process. Mm. You have the reference of the floor, but he also talked about your, the orientation of your head and eyes and being able to, to um, you know, be awake and alive and, and perceptive in whatever environment you're in. And I, I think that gets lost a little bit, in, but if going and reading his writings, it's quite clear yeah. that there's that mar almost, a, well, you could say a martial element too, you know, the, mm. the, the background of being judo and, and, uh, and fighting because you need that kind of ability to move in any direction without a preparatory movement. Uh, to be feeling free and safe. Yeah, that's such a good point that you say that I also feel like in other um, somatic practices that you often, that the focus on the internal becomes almost too much, that you lose this sense of um, being, being connected to something more other than yourself. Um, and so that's a really good point. And also in parkour we have of course, internal aspects, especially in um, dealing dealing with fear, that's sort of the primary emotion that um, parkour really deals with. And lots of parkour practitioners practitioners have very um, very um, how do you say that um, thought out strategies and tools in order to do the internal work, the the, the focus on the fear and how to deal with it. Um, in order to then um, express themselves physically, like in the external, external space more. But yeah, I guess they are, they are not only external or, or only internal. But.